Uh, so first, we'll, we'll just take a look at, uh, at TaylorMade. We'll, we'll flip over to their actual website here in a second. Um, but TaylorMade, they're, they're not always selling customizable, fully customizable golf clubs. Sometimes they do have, right, again, that traditional SKU approach, those, those actual stock items. Uh, and so what we see here from, again, just that traditional product detail page, I've got my, my standard image carousel. I've got a few images there on the left-hand side. Uh, but again, when it comes to standard e-commerce product catalogs and product detail pages, very limited in the number of actual variants that I can that I can reflect on that PDP. So we can see that uh, over on the top right hand side with just a few options that are that are reflected. Uh, but then even if I want to go into a custom experience, how do we support that with um, uh, you know potential customization on on the e-commerce? Uh, so let's actually take a look at what uh, what TaylorMate is doing. So again, here, this is the same, um, uh, the same golf club that we were taking a look at a second ago on, on the slide, but let's just actually walk through what we see here. Again, very, um, uh, very traditional e-commerce page, uh, simple, simple product carousel, or excuse me, product image carousel here, and just those few standard images. But even when it comes to some of the very simple configuration, uh, right, I actually have a, a, a 10 and a half degree loft, um, but you can see here on the image, it's actually still showing nine. So even from a user standpoint, from a customer standpoint, right, am I really 100% certain that um, I am in fact configuring the, uh, the, the correct product? Uh, when it comes to TaylorMade, they also have uh, a customization. Uh, and this is for the, the, the majority of their, um, uh, their, their actual golf clubs, right? So. Uh, as I work my way through, again, I've got a little, a few more options to configure here. I can see the images do reflect a little bit more closely what um, what the user has actually selected with my uh, Fujikura Ventus um, uh, shaft kind of image preview here, and then ultimately getting to uh, the, the final step here with everything kind of kind of grouped together. But still, um, you know, limited in the the, the customer experience there. Uh, what we want to do from a full customization standpoint is again get beyond you know really what the traditional e-commerce systems are going to allow me to do, which again uh, very minimal variants, very minimal options from a from a product detail page standpoint. Uh, so now we're actually looking at um, a partnership uh, that we have with TaylorMade with uh, Three Kit, of course providing the visuals here. So what we actually have in the website is an embedded 3D player, uh, right? So it's not it's no longer just static images that uh, only represent a few angles or perspectives of uh, of the product, uh, but we actually want to see the full golf club itself and all the individual configurable elements. And then again, even here, right, we can see uh, going back to my my example a second ago, I've got my ten and a half degree loft there, and of course, if I change it to nine, we want to see the corresponding nine. Not sure how well we can see that in this Zoom, but again, these are all live websites. We saw a question there in the chat. Uh, we absolutely will. Uh, share all of these these links with you. You can, of course, also just go to um, folks like Lovesack and Crate and Barrel and now TaylorMade and, and uh, probably find these yourselves. Uh, but then when it comes to the configuration as well, not a ton of color options. Uh, in, in years past, uh, the, the, the previous SIM drivers were actually much more configurable. But even here, uh, we still see very many thousands of different combinations, uh, even just from the color standpoint. And so again, when it comes to user experience, uh, certainly far more enhanced than just those static images, even as I begin to make my selections, right? We know exactly what's being configured. Uh, as I move around to different areas on the club, we'll notice that the camera orientation actually changes. So there's no question of where am I even making these changes to. So again, we can see all of these in real time, all of the changes occurring. Uh, and again, always readjusting the camera perspective. And then again, just to further enhance that user experience, I've got a few different options here that I can cycle through again and changing that uh, that camera uh, camera perspective. So as I work again, work my way through, we don't have to finish the full configuration with the shaft and the grip as well. Um, but as I work my way through, again, I can see all of my configuration. Everything is uh, uh, there in a much more user friendly, very intuitive, uh, improved user experience, and to that effect. Uh, TaylorMade actually saw tremendous uh, success with um, uh, with their full custom uh, customizer club here. Uh, they actually hit their um, uh, their three month sales goal uh, in just one month, um, and saw saw huge growth and, and increased conversions with the full customizer here. Uh, 